Oh, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Here, let's discuss um, further into integrals and volumes. And now look at uh, the fourth example in the example series, basically, which states the region R enclosed by the curves Y equals X and X squared is rotated about the X axis. Find the volume of the resulting uh, solid. So, the first thing we should do is just graph uh, this function out. So we'll get something like this, this x and y axis right here. If you were to draw the curve y equals x, that's just a straight line like that. Let's draw it further out. This is y equals x. And now the x squared looks something like this. So it goes from like that and then something like that right there where that is y equals x squared. And as you can see the region R, this is, we'll call that R, is enclosed between these um, yeah, between these two functions like that. And now if we were to rotate about the x-axis right here, like I've done in, in my earlier videos, yeah, it's just rotated like that. So you'll be drawing a circular f f function like this. And as you can see right here at this point, the thickness of this is zero. And but as you can see when you actually when you start from all the way here, you get pretty much a cone that has a varying shape. I'll draw a dashed line like this. That is just a replica of this. And now we would rotate. Let's just say random x value. So we would rotate that about like that. Yeah, it'd be something like this, and now this side right here, yeah, would be rotating it right over here. Yeah, so if we were to uh, yeah highlight all this, so we get a cross-sectional area that is a yeah that's basically like a walled cylinder like that. So it looks something like this, and now if we were to draw this, uh, just look at it f facing it, we'll get this circular uh yeah the circular um, lid or or just a circle with another uh, hole in it like that where this is the area that we are looking to find the volume of because that's the enclosed one and now that this the if you were to draw the uh, inner and outer outer radius this one here is x squared because that's the inside function right over here that's just the x squared and now the outer one is just x right here. So we have two of these uh, radiuses. So this area we'll call a of x is equal to the the full area minus this hole inside. So that's going to be pi x squared. This is um, pi r squared or pi r squared. We'll call this outer, and that's just x. And now minus pi x squared squared where this is basically the inner pi r let's call this n squared where which is x squared so now we'll get pi we'll take we can take the pi out pi, take the pi out of well, uh, pi times x squared minus x to the 4 and that is our area right there let's take this uh, make it neater so we have this one right here and now this is enclosed when you go back up this is enclosed uh, between this is at zero because we know that x squared and x both have an origin at zero and also at this point right here they intersect yeah this 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 intersection point is when they both equal so x equals x squared and that is when x equals one so it's from one here so we have all the stuff we need to get the volume so volumes equal two uh, the integral from 0 to 1 of this area now. So all we do is integral of the, of the area. Pi x squared minus x 4 dx. So we could take the, just the pi out and now solve the integral of this is x cubed over 3 minus x 5 over 5. Now it's from 0 to 1 and we could simply plug these inside so we get pi of 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5 now if we plug in 0 that's just 0 so we can ignore that now we just subtract these two we just use common denominator times by 5 over 5 and 3 over 3 
So we get pi, pi, this is 5 over 15 minus 3 over 15, which just equals to 2 over 15 times pi, and that is our final answer. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this uh, example. It's pretty useful. This is the first one I've done where we have to subtract uh, an inner area. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this video. And like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.